This segment of Del Marvel Life is brought to you by Ocean City Department of Tourism. A common thread that runs through Ocean City and the Boardwalk is tradition. You know, we just heard about the history of the Boardwalk and that includes many businesses that are still there today. And one of them is Trimper's Rides and Amusements. With more than 100 years of tradition under its belt, the Family Fun Spot has been a beach time favorite for thousands of children of all ages. It's that history that has the Trimper family looking forward to a hundred more. When you're taking a stroll down the boardwalk, it's an experience all by itself. The smell of the popcorn, the cotton candy, the pizza, the fries, the sounds of laughter from kids at Trippers Rides and Amusements. Some people describe it as a step back in time. And for operations manager Brooks Trimper, it's a step he's never moved far from. It was great when I was really little, but as soon as I could work, I was working. So all my friends were, were oh, it's so exciting. You, you grew up in an amusement park. I did, but I, I worked a lot. Uh, as soon as I could start counting, they had me in games and helping out here and there. And uh, pretty much every summer, school would end and, and I would work. And that hard work continues today with Brooks' desire to keep the Trippers' history alive. The oceanfront amusement parks, as they're closing all around the country, it's, it's sad to see that part of our history disappear. But uh, we're staying strong. We're, we're hoping to continue to grow and evolve and still entertain those younger kids, uh, but, but stick with some of the traditional pieces. Every Trumper that comes through here always says, it's not going to end on my watch. It's not going to end on my watch. But the watch hasn't always been easy. In its early years, the park took a beating from Mother Nature during a hurricane in 1933. When the large hurricane came through and cut the inlet and everything, we lost some attractions. There was actually amusements that went into the water, but the, the town came together. A partnership that's been going strong for more than a hundred years. Brooks says it all started back in the 1890s when his great-great-grandparents Daniel and Margaret Trimper fell in love with the Eastern Shore. When my great-great-grandparents came to Ocean City uh, from Baltimore, there was only three hotels that existed at the time. And they came over and purchased two of the three existing hotels and uh, slowly turned it into, into what you see today. There is plenty to see. Brooks says one of the biggest eye catchers is the massive carousel. The Herschel Spielman carousel, that's from 1912. It's still in daily operation. I could go into details about the merry-go-round for an hour. It's a mangerette carousel, uh, which means it isn't just horses. We have lions, tigers, we have giraffes, an ostrich, cats, dogs, anything you can think of. We have all sorts of different animals on the merry-go-round. The merry-go-rounds 45 animals, three chariots, and one rocking chair were driven by a steam engine when rides originally cost just a nickel. A hundred years later, the ride's now powered by electricity, but it still has some old school charm to it. They're very traditionally, ex very exciting on the outside. As you can see, there's a nice parrot, there's all these be beautiful jewels, lots of artistic artwork. However, on the inside, it's much simpler. We have just a plain blue saddle, some gold design. The jewels end once they can no longer be seen. Another traditional piece you'll most likely recognize is this one, the whip. It's a little children's ride. It's from the early 1920s. It was everyone's favorite when they were here as a kid, and it's still here. Uh, when, when, the, when the whip arrived, it had plain red backings. Uh, and if you come to visit, you can see that there's these beautiful pictures on the back of it now. And our curator at the time was cleaning it off cleaning the red to, to repaint it, to paint something exciting on it, and she actually found these murals underneath the red that was on top. So there's some of the original paintings that she touched up and brought back to life. Now, of course, along with all the tradition, the Trippers family can't help but look forward. My family has just tradition, not just in the park, but in the town. And uh, we try to still remain involved with that. Uh, we're involved as much as we can in the community uh, with different organizations, and we're very happy to see Ocean City grow, and we want to be a part of it as it continues to grow. A growth Brooks says he hopes he and his family can continue for children of all ages well into the next century and beyond. Now along with the history of the park, the Trimper's children and their descendants have also played important roles in Ocean City's political life and other businesses. And now Brooks mentioned the future for Trimp and Trimpers. Let's explain, expand on that and who better to do that than Brooks himself and he is joining us. Thank you so much. That looks like so much fun. Um, okay, so you, uh, you, there's more to the story we just saw. And that is that Trimper's Rides and Amusements was certified as the oldest family-owned amusement park in the country. That happened last year. That's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Yes, it, it did. We, we were on a, a program called Strange Inheritance. 
uh, where they talk about strange things that were passed down through families, and ours was an amusement park, of course. And uh, one of my ride supervisors, Sean Donovan, after watching the program, gained, became interested in it. Mm -hmm. uh, he contracted the historian Jim Futrell about it, and uh, they did a little more research and found that we were the oldest family-owned, continually family-owned amusement park in the country, debatably in the world. There's one more in England, but they didn't provide amusements until the 60s. Uh, they were more of a museum uh, before then, but they've technically been around a little bit longer than we have. Huh. And this isn't going to end on your watch. Oh, heck no. I, we're just talking to you a little bit here. You, obviously, you're doing more than just carrying on the, the family name. This is a passion for you, isn't it? it most certainly is. It most certainly is. Uh, all the family that, that works here in the park, it, it's we're very, very passionate about it. There's about 16 family members that work uh, in front of the house and behind the scenes that, that customers don't even see. Uh, I have family members that are highly involved in our, our maintenance department and our, our management. It's, it's, it's a family affair. So give us an example of a typical summer day for you at Trimpers. And <laughs> I'm not sure how long the program is. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, typically, we start early in the morning inspecting rides. Um, every ride has to be inspected every, every morning. The state does it annually, but we have to do it every morning, preparing, uh, making schedules. Uh, we're all, all the family still very involved with that, planning out who's going to run what attraction, what the weather's going to be, uh, depends on how many people you have to have on each attraction, uh, scheduling breaks, and a lot of walking. A lot of wow. walking. <laughs> we, we go around and, and we're checking on everyone, supervising, training. Um, most of my supervisors, we walk between 15 and 25 miles a day. A day. A day. <laughs> oh my goodness. We take care of our feet. I, I well, <laughs> hope so, yeah. So, a huge, long, rich history. What do you see for the future for Trimpers? We have to adapt and change. Uh, we have to find ways to, to entertain um, kids nowadays. They aren't as excited about the same thrills. The little ones we still get. We get still get all the little ones on those kiddie rides, on the ferry whip that you showed there, whipping around, having a great time. But the teenagers is what we're starting to lose. We need to find ways to, to provide thrills for them. They're getting their entertainment otherwise, and whether it's stepping into to virtual reality involved with the amusements, or but we have to keep evolving with them to, to continue staying relevant. Okay, on, on that note, any new rides or amusements? Well, actually, last year we put in a, a massive new ride called the Endeavor. Um, these amusement rides are not cheap, yeah. so we can't put one of those in every single year like we'd like to. But we actually took a step back into, the, into our past and brought back a rocket plane. A rocket plane, now when you walk up to it, it looks like a Ferris wheel with, uh, with cages on it, but be prepared when you ride it. This is a <laughs> thrill ride. Uh, it's, it's very similar to our zipper, where it's going to flip you over and spin you out. Uh, but we got, we got one of those refurbished, and uh, it's, it's a nice piece right in the center of the park. How about oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So we ask this of our guests. What one thing would you say people may not realize about you or about Trimpers? Um, obviously, like I said before, it is a family family run park, uh, and you'll you'll see three or four of us out and about on on news casts or possibly in the park, but there's a lot of family behind the scenes, behind the scenes. so there's a lot of us involved. But uh, one of the, the historical facts is our carousel that was powered by a steam engine originally, we're up to an electric motor now, right. but our steam engine provided some of the first lights in Ocean City. Really? Yes. How about that? Trailblazers no in kidding. Ocean City. Okay, I have one more question for you, and that is, I mean, you get to go to the park every single day, that's so cool. What's your favorite ride? It evolved through time. When I was little, the Ferry Whip, it was it. That's what I wanted to be on. Uh, as I got older, of course, it got more exciting, more thrill rides. Uh, the toboggan that we had for years that mm -hmm. we retired recently, uh, that was up there. And, and the zipper, of course, was always a favorite. But uh, we got a freak out about eight years ago, and that has taken over. I'll come on my day off, and I'll ride the freak out. Seriously, that's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Brooks, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much for having Wonderful talking me. to you. All right, if you would like to read more about Trimper's rides and amusements in Ocean City, go to delmarvalife.com.